Hello, this is Spellbinders Unfiltered News Reality Zone report from and compiled by G. Edward Griffin. 2011, March 25th through April 1st. As you can see, the uh, comic strip says it all on the west coast. Blackbird with a Geiger counter going, oh my, oh my. Anyways, let's get to the news. Ivory Coast, another country falls into civil war. Rebels may have seized a government-owned TV station. And there is gunfire at presidential mansions. President Gabaru has refused to step down for the UN approved candidate Watera. As usual, both contenders are collectivist. April 1st, MSNBC. Two giant contract or concrete pumps are to be uh, shipped from US to Japan next week to entomb the leaking nuclear reactors that have busted open from their explosions. The pumps will not be returned because they will be radioactive after use. Of course. Augusta Chronicle is where that came from. U.S. and France call for strengthening the U.N. INF currency known as Special Drawing Rights. The march continues towards a single global fiat currency as the depth of the dollar nears activist post uh, March 31st. After harsh criticism, the Department of Homeland Security has Stop secret reviews of people who request documents under the Freedom of Information Act, also known as FOIA. Uh, Yahoo, 31st of March. China based hackers with encouragement of the government penetrate Australian Canadian government's networks. Hmm, you poke net times. Uh, March 31st. Erita Eretia I'm sorry if I can't pronounce that correctly. A poverty stricken African country rejects further aid from the UN. The reason? The so called aid does more harm than good. Fox News. March 30th. I don't know if you heard that yeah or not. Japan. Suicide squads are being paid 20 times normal to work in stricken nuclear plant. Heads of safety research when Fukushima uh, uh, reactors were built says the battle is lost for reactor 2. It has mounted through the floor. And a lava-like flow <laughs> Resonating heavenly radiation into the air and sea. Oh my golly, that is pretty intense. Daily news, or Daily Mail, uh, March 30th. <laughs> That's the daily news of the day. Do we have a meltdown going on? Uh, fluoride spill. Illinois' war facility it literally burns holes in parking lot cement. This is the stuff they put in our drinking water, supposedly, because it's good for us and our teeth. And it, it, if you ever just go and Google fluoride poisoning and, and teeth and just put them together in your search and you'll see that it makes your teeth pit and white and fall out. Uh, video. This is pretty interesting. G. Edward Griffin's The uh, Creature from Jekyll Island. The second look at the Federal Reserve is the theme of this Glenn Beck show. Author is the guest. Yes, he is. 
Creature from Jekyll Island hits Amazon charts as number one bestseller. Well, of course it is. Wait a second. I need to go here. Okay. U.S. 27 states now dependent on federal funding as their primary source of income. That number will increase in 2011 as states increasingly become subservient to their federal paymasters. Ironically, as the voters are demanding more state independence from the Washington state legislators and the uh, judges are men and they need federal money to keep their states functioning. This is why they often make strong speeches in favor of states' rights, but seldom put their words into action. A composed Missouri Town bans young girls from selling Girl Scout cookies on their own front lawn because it violates the ordinance against the sale of commodities from a home. My God, this is America, isn't it? Home of the free? <laughs> the article explains all across America nightmarish control freaks are seeking to micromanage every single aspect of our lives. Economic collapse in 29. Another video. A U.S. Federal Reserve assumes us that inflation is insignificant. However, it is also it may stop printing paper money because the cost of printing has risen 50% over the last three years. Hmm. I wonder if we should just go back to coinage. And have coins worth a lot of money. Like the dollar. There we go. EU plans to ban cards from all European cities by 2050. And stated the reason to cut the carbon emissions and fight so-called global warming. The myth. The hidden reason is the further objectives of the UN's Agenda 21, which calls for forcing people out of their cars and herding them into cities where you can work right where your factory is, walk across the street, and you're at back at work. <laughs> oh, this is their dream. They do it in China. Um, into cities where they must rely on public transportation. In this way, their travel can be restricted and they can be monitored and controlled more easily through cameras, of course. Telegraph, uh, March 28th. U.S. EPA plans to raise its radiation safety guidelines to allow much higher levels of radioactive contamination in food and water in the environment. This is the same agency that says that the air was safe to breathe at ground zero on 9-11. <laughs> Don't you realize it's accumulative? Everything that they're saying is a one-time basis. You just happen to get hit with it once. Well... You had your years worth of radiation, but now if you go out there all the time, have to work out like a uh, construction and stuff, and you have to be out in the rain, oh, well, I guess it quadruples and more. Man. Japan. That was the activist post, March Land. Japan. More reactive water spills are found at nuke plant as earthquakes continue. Plutonium has been found in the soil outside the complex, indicating that it may be spreading through the groundwater. At present, there is no safe protocol for disposing of the water. Imagine that. Oh, man, the USDA allows the irradiation of food and calls it electronic pasteurization. <laughs> More madness. So, not to alarm the consumers, an official with the USDA who helped to ease food radiation restrictions is now with the UN doing the same thing with international guidelines. I mean, scientists believe that irradiation caused genetic and molecular changes and increased the risk of cancer in those who consume the food. Activists post March 28th. Oh, you can see all these headlines down at the bottom of the page. 
All you have to do is follow the link that I put there at the uh, description. California's utility company PG&E plans to pressure customers in accepting smart meters by charging 135 to $270, $270 up front plus 14 to 20 dollars per month for the option not having them many people believe a radiation from these meteors is a health hazard and is concerned that eventually they will be used not just to monitor the flow of water and power but to ration it lcm hearts 27 afghanistan Cabal Bank is insolvent and posed to be taken over by the UN's IMF, International Monetary Fund. Loans are earned 50 million derivative to insiders. There's no talk of holding anyone accountable, and the business will continue as usual. U.S. golf scientists are warned by the government not to disclose their findings relating to the massive deaths of baby dolphins after BP spill and their stated reason is not to interfere on <laughs> interfere with the criminal case being brought against them. Scientists are convinced the real motive is to protect BP and pave the way for whitewash of the incident. Daily Mail, March 26th. U.S. Brace yourself for Earth Hour. I feel good. Media publicity stunt that will urge you to turn off your lights for one hour and promote the myth of global warming. Activist Post, March 26th. Already having Judge Neapolitano. The good guy is outraged by Obama's executive order that allows the government to keep prisoners in Guantanamo for the rest of their lives, even if they are acquitted. He points out that now this is also could happen to us, which it could. If you set the precedence, it will happen. General Electric is the, biz <laughs> the biggest company in America and pays no taxes on its profits. Instead, it will receive 3.2 billion rebate from the government. Here's how it's done. Think tax attorneys and lobbyists. Daily Mail. Post it March 26, but you can get the link here. Another video, Fathead, a humorous and highly informed documentary says we have been fed a load of bologna about the movie Super Size Me and nearly everything about it has been told healthy and eating wrong. It's quite a claim, best of my very, I'm going to go on, I'm running out of time here. Uh, U.S. organic farmers file lawsuit against Monsanto. But this reporter says it may be designed to fail. If so, this is another case of control opposition. The lawyers are funded by the Rockefeller and the Soros. Rents, April 1st. Extend and pretended an excellent analysis of the bookkeeping, uh, bookkeeping tricks of rule changing that tank the U.S. economy. You will learn how the mistakes of the fraud were of the past hidden from the view and why worse is yet to come. Financial sense, March 31st. Kirk Elliott video. VHD explains how food inflation is depleting savings and destroying the middle class. Oh, really? We knew that for a while, didn't we? Maybe not. Here are the hard numbers. API. March 31st. Alex Jones exposed Al-Qaeda as a tool of the New World Order. Its role is to destabilize enemy governments and terrorize friendly into accepting totalitarian measures in the name of security. His evidence cannot be dismissed. March 31st. Prison Planet. 
genetically modified organisms are now found in well that's it that's all the time I got I couldn't get through it there was the last two there I have to get off here now this is Spellbinder reports be good be good at good day